Alrighty, what is up everybody? In this video, we are taking an extreme look at Bitcoin individually. Now, there's been a lot of things happening in the market. Let's not even mention Elon Musk and his Twitter account. But realistically, guys, how low, technically speaking, can Bitcoin go? Okay, or how low do we expect it to go, technically speaking? Right. So we're going to do a quick TA of the Bitcoin chart. We are on a four-hour chart to kind of get a broader view of what is going on. It's very apparent that we got rejected at a top of 66,000 and change. But where are we going from here? We can clearly see that we hit a top, we got a strong rejection, and now we have made, for the first time in a while, a lower low, jumping from this uh, 66,000, making a uh, lower high, uh, rather, at 60,000, right? And now we're going down. So I threw the Fibonacci retracement up here, starting from this new impulse that we got uh, January 12th. As you can see, prior to that, we had a smaller run-up and then a pullback and then we had a new right we had this new upwards momentum that started so this is the segment that we're looking at now we can see that we did have a 50% uh, retracement that was broken through right around 44,700 and the next level to watch is this level right here at 39,600 39,597 give or take two or three USD uh, we're looking at $39,600 now if this level breaks which we can see we did have a support resistance right here we can see um, let me scroll out back here we found a resistance right at this 39,787 Okay, we then later on down the road found a little bit of support around that line as well before we continued upwards. So this line right here is the one that I am seriously watching minute by minute. If it breaks below, and I believe it will at least touch it, again, none of this is financial advice. Please don't use this as any entry or exit points. Never listen to anybody on social media. Do your own due diligence. Personally, I do feel that we are going to get under 40,000 USD per Bitcoin. I think we're going to touch this 39,642. And then from there, we can do one of two things. So I'm going to draw a theoretical line right here. We can see that we had a lower low here. So we have two points for our lower high at 66 and 60. Now, if this point reaches down to that line, okay, we will then have this channel that we are bounding in and out of, which I believe this chart could look something like this. Again, pure speculation from years and years of watching charts, teaching other people TA. This is what I envision the Bitcoin graph looking like now. And then, of course, what is the next point down? Well, after that, we're going to be looking at this right here, which I believe is a 67 or I'm sorry, a 78 percent retracement at 32,400, where I believe we can definitely find some support. If we look at this mini movement back here, right, and we do the same thing, we can see that the last time we had this real strong push up to this level, we hit a retracement right around 61.8% before moving back up. Now, that 61.8% retracement on this would be that 39,597 level that we spoke about uh, a couple seconds ago. If we do break below that, I'm looking at the 32,381. So again, how low can Bitcoin go on this seemingly, okay, seemingly, turn to bear market as you can see we just broke below the 200 day moving average as well right so we're below the 200 we are below the 50 okay we have an rsi or our wilders index which is staying below 50 this means it is confirming the downtrend we have a stochastic that is playing the middle field but angling down and we have an MACD that is angling down at the bottom of the field as well. So right now, looks like the Bitcoin shorts are really, really winning this race. Now, we see this pull back up. What would make it look like it's turning back into a bull market? Well, we would need to make a higher high. We would need to break above this 60,000. Okay, so we would need to break above it, test it, and then we can move higher. So right now we're going to do one of two things. We're either going to do A or we're going to do B. 
Now if we do get some extreme selling pressure come in, you may see this line drop all the way down to that 32. Now let me remove these drawings really quick. Okay, you could see a move down to this 32, in which case we would be looking for a similar structure like this. Okay, so real quick, we are going to keep you guys updated on the movement of Bitcoin, what it is doing and what we feel, again, feel, this is not fact, this is simply speculation, what we could see based on our technical analysis. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and we will be coming at you with daily content as we always do.